Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. Today we're on day 43 on Everbell. <laughs> Hope you guys are having an amazing day so far today. Yeah, so if you noticed, I did a little bit of changes to the outside of our house on Everbell. I'm just trying to make it look a little bit more like a cute rustic lodge cottage yeah <laughs> um, I'm thinking the goal today hopefully is to do a few things um, we need to do a little something with this front yard um, also I wanted to do a little bit of work in the front room of the house um, just to give you a sneak peek of that um, turning it into a little lodge area and then finally we'll do a, a couple of builds on the beach today I'm thinking maybe doing a little um, laundromat over on one of the rock areas and then maybe doing something with that back rock area um, over on the back side of the island so yeah lots of stuff in the today's video um, we have a lot to accomplish and we're actually um, getting close to wrapping up Everbell um, probably in the next few days we'll just be finishing up a few little builds here and there on the beach and um, yeah and then we'll I'm super excited we'll get to re release the D dream address do a final island tour and yeah I'm super excited guys <laughs> <laughs> um, so for the yard, just placing a few items. Um, I put some of the country fencing there in the back along with um, a couple of plants and a workbench just because I think it is handy to be able to use a workbench right by your house. <laughs> I've got this cute swinging bench and on the, stu the log stool next to me, um, I did put a little customized cushion, customized with um, sables pattern. Um, a little pumpkin decoration that is um, for the upcoming um, Halloween season that will be coming out. Super cute item. Just placing a few things down here and there. And finally, I wanted to place this spooky tree. Um, again, this is going to be one of the new items that's coming out for Halloween. For anyone looking to get that for yourself, all you need to do is date hop um, to the Halloween season. Starting October 1st, you can find items like that for sale at Nook's Cranny. And yeah, so really excited for that stuff to come out, um, but it's totally available. It was included in the update, so just have to time hop forward a little bit, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go inside the house. Um, I wanted to just do a little bit of work here in this room. Um, yeah, so let's turn this into a cute little rustic lodge area. Um, I went ahead and switched out. I had all of my cute um, <laughs> Animal Crossing room. I had to tear it down. So we're just going to turn it into kind of like a, a mushroom lodge. I thought it'd be kind of cute to call this place the Mushroom Inn. So I've replaced the wall um, with the mush wall and the floor with the modern wood floor. And I'm just sort of changing out, um, putting some things on the floor here. We're doing some custom designs. I um, wanted to put this cute fringe down along with this cute granny square rug here. Um, so guys, you're totally going to get a kick out of this. I've been playing this game for a year and a half and I'm not even kidding you. I just discovered that you can actually place these things down. I knew you could do it as a tile mat, but I didn't know that you could actually move them like this, which is so silly. I know. Um, so yeah, this is exciting to me. It's, it's new territory. <laughs> I know it's crazy. So I'm just kind of moving the fringe into place and um, the granny squares, squares just to create a little rug here that we can um, use to decorate the room. I tend to rely heavily on um, the in-game rugs. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you use a lot of custom patterns inside of your house? Um, I know I use a ton of them outdoors when I'm doing my outdoor designs, but I tend to stick to the in-game stuff um, inside the house. So this is a little bit different. Um, again, my, my use of those things is fairly limited, so. I'm really excited. This this is going to be pretty cute, I'm hopeful. <laughs> so I'm just placing down some items that I think sort of go with the coloration of the wallpaper on the floor. Anything that's sort of gold and white and cream and any of the fall colors um, since we're kind of getting into the be very beginning of fall season as we're finishing up Everbell. Um, I'm putting down this cute desk in the back. I'm just kind of trying to create a room that will look like a lobby. Uh, one of my favorite things to do when creating a lobby is to use a workbench um, to sort of make it look like a counter and then it also duals, uh, functions as a dual purpose item that you can use to craft and customize your items when you need to. So I, I kind of look at it like it's a win-win. <laughs> I'm putting down this little um, brown colored imperial chest. I love this piece. It's just such a beautiful rich brown color and tone for that for this type of season. Um, and then we're putting down some items that are sort of lobby-like, um, an old-fashioned phone. Actually, I think it's called the rotary phone. <laughs> Let me correct myself. We've got a little um, oil lamp, a forsythia plant. We've got a, a rattan table, and then I put the little um, wrestling bell on it just to kind of make it a little um, bell that you would ring when you come in for service. I thought it'd be kind of cute. 
<laughs> and then we've got our log furniture here that we've customized with the same granny square pattern. Um, so I'm just sort of arranging those there to create a cozy little sitting area along with the um, bount ha harvest bounties harvest uh, tree lamp, I guess you call it. <laughs> we've got a little fireplace and I'm utilizing this really cute uh, marigold set that is going to be coming up for, I believe it's November I want to say is when that's coming out it might be October I'll have to check my notes to see um, but that was definitely again something that was released in the most recent update for Animal Crossing um, which sort of gives me the hint that we guys we might not get an update for a little while I'm a little sad about that but I'm assuming that maybe because they've included the Halloween items in the update um, that we just had recently I, I'm assuming that means maybe we won't get anything until November so um, we might be on our own guys, but I'm really excited because what that does is it allows us to be able to, um, if you're willing to do some time hopping, even though you won't see Jack, you will um, have access to some of those items. So if you hop to October 1st and beyond, it sort of gives you the ability to use some of those items from Halloween ahead of time, which is great because I find that oftentimes we want to decorate before the holiday season. We don't want to have to wait until the season is upon us to put everything out and use them to decorate our islands. So I think I actually think that's a pretty great thing that they did for us this time around. <laughs> so as I'm talking, I've added a lot more items. Um, I'll be sure to list um, the items from this design in the description for you guys. Um, putting down this little mush rug here in the front. Just excited to use some of the mush items um, from the upcoming fall season. <laughs> I don't know. I like it, guys. I think it's pretty cute. It's got a cute, cozy, little quaint vibe to it. Um, totally reminds me of something you'd find if you walked into a bed and breakfast where you can check in, get settled for the weekend, and have a nice time. So... <laughs> Yeah, so anyways guys, I'll be working on the other rooms in the house. I'll probably save those for a surprise um, for everyone when we do the final tour of Everbell in the next week. Um, I'm thinking probably we'll only have a couple more episodes left. Um, so yeah, we'll save that as, as a surprise treat for everybody. <laughs> I'm pretty excited with how this lobby turned out though. What do you guys think? Yay, Everbell is coming together. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> So let's head outside. We still have a few more things to do um, on the island today. I just wanted to sort of um, do a little bit of work on the beach. We've, we haven't really done much with Everbell's beaches. So, so let's head down here past the cranny and we're gonna cut through this little area over here. And I wanted to work on that rock back over by Whitney's house. For anybody that saw that um, episode when we decorated Whitney's yard and turned it into a berry farm, um, yeah, I kind of left it undone. I finished the berry farm, but this little area past our peninsula, we never really did anything with. Um, we also have this cute little section of beach right here. So I thought we could just work on a few little sections of the beach today and then, um, yeah. <laughs> that way we'll get this looking a little bit cuter than just leaving it plain. All right, so I'm going to start with the designer and then we'll speed things up here in a sec. And I'm thinking right here would be cute to build a little shower stall. Um, since it is on the beach, I'm thinking anything that's sort of camping related, anything that you would see maybe if you were on an RV trip, something like that. So I thought, okay, there's a lot of times when you'll go to the beach and you see those little shower stalls that you can shower off. This idea um, is inspired from Pinterest. Um, I I'll have to look up the information for the original um, designer on this, but um, it was such a cute idea utilizing some of the um, bamboo partitions and some of the Cosmo showers. Um, so I thought we could do a version of that here on the beach. <laughs> so I put down this really cute rustic um, wooden plank pathing. Um, I've used this in a lot of other builds on Everbell, but I'll be sure to link the um, custom code information in the description for you guys if you're looking for something like that. Um, and now we're just sort of placing these um, bamboo partitions. Um, I customized them in the dried bamboo color just because I thought it would look a little bit better than the original green partitions. And then I'm just sort of adding these cute little Cosmo showers which are also customized. I believe they come in pink originally but I um, wanted them to be a little bit more muted since they were right on the beach. So yeah, just placing a few little things, these log stakes, a little bench, and then I thought it would be cute if we had a little rattan towel ba basket here, just so that when you hop out of the shower, you've got a towel to wrap up in. Yay! So that takes care of that little area. And then next, I wanted to go over here. This is the spot that I was mentioning um, that we sort of left unfinished. I did put some custom pathing down. It's that same dirt path we've been using on the island all along. 
um, but I kind of figured if we could place um, just some mush items, I wanted to create sort of like a little um, garden shed just because this is right next to Whitney's house and she has the berry farm. I thought if we could create a cute little blue toned um, gardening shed, it would be perfect for her since it's right by her berry farm. <laughs> so I'm putting down um, this customized stall. This has um, the customized pattern. It's that same tin rusty roof pattern that we used um, for Grizzly's sawmill and throughout the island and a few other builds. I'm putting down some plants and then we're going to use these really cute Garden Shed Pro designs. Um, again, I'll link the custom design um, information for you for the creator in the description in case you guys are looking for something like that and want to create this type of thing for yourself. Um, and it does come in a couple of different colors. This one is the blue and I believe there was a white um, as well or brown. I'll have to look, but lots of cute designs from this um, designer and yeah, so be sure to check it out. <laughs> So I'm putting down this cute little cacao plant and um, this festival banner just to add a little bit of movement and um, light lighting when it gets dark. Um, and then I'm utilizing these larger bounty trees. Um, I did turn them into the white color just because that is sort of the vibe I'm going for back here. Just sort of clean and fresh and to sort of coordinate with the blue. <laughs> and I did want a little bit of a sitting area so I put down this cute swinging bench. And then I wanted to put down these rain boots because I thought it would be really cute to put in front of the work shed along with this adorable blue printed flower shovel. <laughs> so just placing a few things here and there to sort of fill it in. Got a couple little plants here still in my pockets. So just adding a little bit of movement. I love the plants in this game. I just feel like they add a lot of texture and movement when you're doing builds. So here is this little area. Hope you guys like it. We finally came up with something. I'm really excited because this area was pretty empty for quite a while. <laughs> Just sort of gives it that little area that you can picture Whitney walking over from her yard to grab some tools to tend to the berry farm. I love it. <laughs> All right, so let's head down the beach a little ways. Um, the last build I wanted to do for the day is down here on the other side of the beach. We have some giant rocks over here by the beach that I wanted to turn into something useful. Again, this is right near Nook's Cranny. We've got this little vending area and I was trying to think of something that would fit nicely in this spot that would be sort of useful um, to a campground or a forest core island. So I thought it would be fun if we turn this into like a little um, laundromat. Um, I've seen some really cute ideas on Pinterest where people will put um, clothes, clothes lines and little wash tubs and stuff like that into um, on the rock areas just to sort of create a little rustic wash area. So I thought um, let's put down some items and sort of turn this into like a foresty, flowery, cute little laundromat. <laughs> so I'm just turning this into like sort of like a lobby or waiting area. You know, like if you were at the laundromat waiting for your laundry to finish, we've got a extra long, long sofa customized with this adorable sunflower pattern that we'll be using um, in a few other spots on the island. Um, I wanted to actually put some here on the rocks too, just to sort of create a rug type of look um, on the rock. I really love that you can use the custom designs on the rocks um, since you can't use the in-game pathing on here. So um, we also have some of the dirt pathing down and just some little splashes of clover as well. So I'll put all those designs in the description for you guys if you're looking for something of that type. Um, and then we're just sort of putting down a washing machine, a couple of the de deluxe washing machines here as well. Um, I wanted to stick to the yellow tone. I thought it would go really well with the sunflower pattern and um, wanted to put um, a couple of bonsai shelves too, just to add a little bit of plant life and greenery to it. <laughs> and then of course you have to have your towel basket, right? When you're making a laundry mat and um, just sort of placing down some little things like socks and shoes, I think can make a big difference when you're creating a laundry mat space on the game. Just filling it in here with some of the mush items just to make it a little bit more foresty. I don't know. I was trying to think of creative ways to sort of, how do you make a laundry mat foresty? <laughs> and then we've got this cute changing room as well. Again, with the adorable sunflower pattern. So I'm just sort of trying to make sure we can walk through here because I do want to be able to walk through this space and then also put another deluxe washer here. And again, a towel basket. <laughs> and then of course we've got to have the clothing line, right? I think it's so cute. <laughs> the little laundry, the socks and the little flannel shirt blowing in the breeze drying. I just, I think it's perfect. I love it. <laughs> 
All right, we're gonna put down a, a couple of little pair of socks here, just to look, make it look like some people left their socks or dropped their socks on the way out of the laundry mat. But yeah, I like how this turned out. I think it's a great um, idea on what you can do with your rocks. And of course you can change up the colors, make it your own, make it fit your theme. Um, a pink laundry mat would be absolutely adorbs if you have more of like a fairy core or girly type of island. Um, you can do so much with this. You can make it look modern if you use black or silver machines. Um, so it's one of those things that I think is useful and you can really make it fit your theme no matter what your island theme is. So yay! <laughs> As I sit here waiting for my laundry to wash. <laughs> So yeah, guys, I hope you like this. Um, again, we're sort of finishing, finishing things up with Everbell. Um, looking to do probably um, a few more things. I put these little portable toilets here, again, since it is sort of by Nook's Cranny. Just trying to fill the few little things in um, before we release the dream address and do the final tour. I'm really excited for it. <laughs> so tomorrow we'll probably do a build on the front beach over by the airport. Um, it's a wide open space and I thought it would be fun to turn that into sort of like a little beach RV park and then get ready after that to do the final tour of Everbell. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Take care guys and we'll see you in the next one.